Hello there, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we caught the legendary Pokemon Kyurem, and in today's episode, we're going to be catching another legendary Pokemon, and it is a special event Pokemon. Now, let's go ahead and fly to the town where this event is going to be possible, and that town is actually a town we haven't been to in quite a while, and it is Castelia City. This is where we're actually going to be picking up a special gift item that you can only get through a special event or nowadays by using action replay. That is the only way you are able to get these items. So let's go ahead and walk inside of Castellia's Pokemon Center because this is where it should be able to get picked up. And as you can see, there's a guy right here wearing a blue hat. So let's go ahead and talk to him. Good day. You must be Rodri. I've received a mystery gift for you. Here you go. And there we go, guys! We just obtained a mystery gift, and it is the Liberty Pass! We look forward to your next visit! The Liberty Pass is what's actually gonna let us get to where we need to, to go ahead and catch this legendary Pokemon. So let's make our way downwards through here. I believe that this is where we have to go, uh, I, I think. This is where we have to go. We'll figure it out, guys. This is a big, big city, so it's always fun to run around it anyways. I think this is probably the biggest city in this game, it felt like. And as you can see over here, there is a gold-looking boat ship. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Okay, you have a Liberty Pass. Would you go like to go to Liberty Garden? And yes, we would like to go there. That's where we need to go. Your timing is perfect. The ship is about to leave. Please get aboard ship and wait. All right, so here we go. It is time for us to go on a little bit of a boat ride, and it's quite exciting to be doing this. Thanks to you guys who gave me the tips on, you know, going after this legendary Pokemon, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, we have made it to Liberty Garden, and it looks like there are a lot of people gathered around. What could be going on here? What are they doing in this little memorial park? There's nothing here but an old lighthouse. Making my grandchild cry if they underestimating me because I'm old girl. Oh, I'm scared. That Team Plasma, they should do terrible things. I guess Team Plasma is here for some reason. They are gathered around here. I wonder if we can still battle them. And it looks like, yeah, so let's go ahead and take them on. A little bit strange that they're here at this place. I don't know why they're here, but, you know, if there's a rare Pokemon, Team Plasma is going to be around. So let's go ahead and take down this Team Plasma Grunt. We are challenged by the Team Plasma Grunt. A Pat Rat. Okay, we haven't seen one of those in a very, very long time. Since Lumi, we haven't really seen Patch Rat. So let's just go ahead and take it down. It's only level 18. So as you can see, you're not going to need too much of a high-level Pokemon here, it looks like. They should be pretty easy to take down. And, you know, they shouldn't give you too much trouble. There we go. We defeated the Team Plasma Grunt. And now let's keep on moving and see what else is around here. This actually reminds me a lot of, like, uh... You know where the Statue of Liberty is located. This is this is kind of nice. Uh, I think it, that's what they were trying to do. And it says, "This lighthouse shines with the light of freedom. Only authorized personnel may enter." And that's pretty cool because I know that Unova was kind of built around uh, like America. So I guess that's what they're trying to do here as well. And that's pretty cool. We will release Victini from its confinement in a small basement on the island. All right, looks like we're gonna have to battle another grunt. But as you can see, they're not going to give us too much trouble. And it has been revealed who the Pokemon we're going after is. It is Victini, and it's really going to be a good time. I'm actually looking forward to catching this Pokemon, and I think it's going to be a blast. All right, Sandile, we'll just go ahead and take you down too. If you guys remember, we do have our Fernia who has False Swipe. So it should be pretty easy to, you know, False Swipe it, and then it'll just be a matter of catching it, which is always going to be the tough part. But you know what? It's going to be fun, and let's hope that it doesn't take... As long as Kyrim did, because that took a crazy long time to catch. Alright, it looks like we have made it inside. And who is this guy? Let's talk to him. He looks like a security guard. It makes me feel better knowing there's a strong trainer like you. Would you like me to help by healing your Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? It's always nice to get a little, you know, back rub here and there. Please stop Team Plasma's tyranny. Alright, we will. So let's make our way down here. And there's one more Team Plasma grunt, it looks like, before we make our way inside. The Victini on this island creates limitless energy. All right, bring it on, dude. Let's see all the limitless energy our Pokemon have. And let's go ahead and take you out. All right, we are challenged by Team Plasma Growth. This guy actually has two Pokemon this time around. So let's just go ahead and do it. It's always fun to do this. I don't know why, but getting to go to areas that are not normally accessible is always exciting. Because it's like a part of the game that not everyone gets the chance to experience since they're like special events. But when you get to do it, you're like... 
whoa, like, this is really cool. Like, a whole little island that, you know, I, I never even knew about. And I never thought that we would come back to Castelia City, you know, get on a gold boat, and somehow end up here in Liberty Island. So it's just, it's really cool that that happened. All right, bye, Scraggy. See you later. And with that, we have defeated this Team Plasma Grunt. Uh, see you later, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and make our way inside of here then and see what is going on. Ooh, there's another Team Plasma Grunt. The one who obtains this Pokemon is said to be victorious in any type of competition. We can obtain a power that would make us invincible. That is the value of this mythical Pokemon, Victini. This is a secret room meant to hide Victini. 200 years ago, a certain rich person bought the entire island and hid Victini in this underground room. After that, no one saw Victini and it became a mythical Pokemon. We, Team Plasma, will liberate Victini from this room and use its powers to make our goal a reality. We won't let a brat like you get in our way. Or so you think. And first of all, we're not brats, guys. We're nice people here to rescue a Pokemon. So bring it on, Team Plasma Grunt. Our Pokemon, as you can see, are a lot higher level than these Team Plasma Grunts. So there's not a whole lot of trouble to do. I'm pretty sure that the Pokemon that we're going up against are this level because you can pretty much do this event whenever. So they're not going to make them, you know, too crazy difficult. That's why I'm actually... Very much looking forward to taking on Victini. And there we go. We defeated this Team Plasma Grunt, who should be the last one. It looks like I underestimated your strength, but Victini's won't be so simple. Look. Looks like it's waiting to test your strength. You'd better get ready. And we better get ready indeed, guys. So it is time to put Fernia up in front, and let's hope that we can catch this Victini. We will see how it goes, but it is time for us to do it. I'm going to go ahead and say very quickly... And then I'll be back with you guys in like two seconds. All right, guys, we are ready to do this. So let's go ahead and bump into Victini. Here we go, Rodri versus Victini. Let's go ahead and get this going. Victini has appeared. It is only level 15. And let's go ahead and do this, Fernia. Thank goodness you have the false swipe ready to go. So then we are more than ready, my friends. Let's go for the false swipe right away. Victini's going for the Endure. Okay, Victini, you go ahead and do that. And uh, Victini's bracing itself, it looks like. We're going to go for the False Wipe, which will leave Victini with 1 HP. Now it's time for us to start throwing the Ultra Balls, or all the kind of Poke Balls we have. And let's see how it goes here. Maybe we'll even be able to catch it right away. Who knows? I'm actually not sure. Maybe it's not... No! Close! I thought, you know, just because it's level 15... Doesn't mean you're going to catch it on the first shot. The good thing is, though, that since we are so much more high, higher level than this Victini, we won't take as much damage as you think. So it all works out. It looks like it's definitely a very strong Pokemon because it sure isn't staying in these Ultra Balls. I might have to try a different type of ball. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll figure that out as we get it going. Come on, Victini. Please stay in there. And yes, there we go, guys. Got gotcha. you. Victini was caught on our third Ultra Ball. And awesome! That worked out quite nicely. So it says, Victini, the victory Pokemon. It is a psychic fire type. This Pokemon brings victory. It is said that trainers with Victini always win, regardless of the type of encounter. So that's pretty great. And we are going to go ahead and give Victini a nickname. And now this is something I just thought of. They said that Victini, you know, stands for victory. So I just thought of a name right here on the spot, which I thought would be kind of nice and would be quite fitting. Now, another term for, uh, you know, victory is, uh, you know, or like winning in general is being victorious. And if we're going to make it back to Alder, we are going to need some victory on our side. So I'm going to go ahead and call her Victini Rias, as in victorious, Rias. All right, there we go. And Victini was transferred to the PC. Living with Victini means accepting Victini's cruel destiny. Someday we will test you to see if you are truly ready for that. All right, see you later. And it looks like Victini had a little bed over here, a little trash can, a mirror. This is, it almost feels like he was trapped. I'm glad we caught him. It's always good to free Pokemon. Pokemon should never be held against their will. They should be with you because they want to be. And now it is time for us to make our way out of here. Oh, hey, whoa. Thanks to you, Rodri, this group that was up to no good has been captured. Victini is a mythical Pokemon that is said to radiate energy from its body. 
When Pokemon or people come into contact with energy, it fills up their bodies and they exhibit more power than usual. That's why there was no end to the people who wanted to use Victini for their own evil ends. I'm sure the rich person who built this underground room for Victini was sincerely trying to help it, but I think shutting the poor thing up in this room was a mistake. Thanks to you, Victini has a new destiny that does not involve being used in Team Plasma schemes. Making sure no one misuses Victini's power is now your duty. Also, in the Unova Pokedex, Victini was assigned a special number. Zero. I've heard the special number was assigned in the hope that Victini's power to bring victory would be shared with a trainer who travels with this Pokedex. Professor Juniper, we cornered the crooks with our high-speed police boat. We will return to Castelia City. Please come on board, too. Thank you. I'll be right there. I can't believe it when people are led astray by Pokemon's astounding abilities and try to misuse them, but it's only when we face Pokemon with a good heart that we can make a brighter future. All right, see you later, Professor Juniper. And it's nice that we managed to free Victini. And it seems like they are departing on their boat, and we should pretty much do the same. Oh, why are you blocking me off, Grandma? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. She seems to be cutting us off, so we have to make all our way around this place. And what is this over here? Dock 2. To board the tour boat, go to Dock 1. Oh, okay. So that just must be another dock where people were just chilling and hanging out. But let's go ahead and make our way back to Castelia City then. It was a nice adventure here in Liberty Island. But it's time to make our way back to where we need to. Here in Castelia City, you know, it's time for us to relax a little bit and figure out what we have to do next. We still have quite a bit of legendary Pokemon to catch. So if you guys have any tips on the Pokemon we should catch and how to go about that, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.